on people this is Spiderman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about a horror film called Saint Agatha I did a reaction video to the trailer a while back and now I finally get to review this film for you guys so yes uh, this film is directed by the same director of Saw 2 Saw 3 and Saw 4 so you know I was like okay this is gonna be good or at least decent so yes, let's talk about the story. The story is about this pregnant con woman who seeks asylum in this uh, isolated convent run by nuns. And yeah, so she's trying to get away from her crazy dad. And uh, yeah, so she at first she thinks, well, you know, I'm in a safe place. You know, everything's cool. These are nuns. What could go wrong, right? But it turns out... These are outcast nuns. These are, how should I say, evil nuns? Not really, you know, in touch with the Lord, I guess. <laughs> um, and there's a mother superior, of course, uh, which is really, like, really, really evil and really uh, two-faced. Uh, so, yeah, and the, the whole story takes place in the 1950s in Georgia. So I like that right away. And yeah, so a lot of crazy stuff happens. Uh, this girl's pregnant, so you can imagine, you know, what kind of crazy shit happens. And yeah, I like this film, though. I mean, I really wasn't expecting much. I did like the trailer, but the story itself is very good. It's filled with suspense, filled with tension. Uh, it is very unpredictable at times. And there's, of course, there's plot twist in here. And yeah, man, the acting was good. I mean, the cinematography is good. When you have a director that's well known for like Saw, you know, you kind of expect this film to be good. And it is. It delivers. Um, this film is pretty long. I think uh, an hour and 40 or so minutes. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it. Uh, the movie picks up pretty quick. I mean, it does have a slow pace at the beginning. But we get to know the characters. Uh, the motives behind these characters and one thing I have to say though um, I did not expect to see the girl from VHS uh, from the first tape the the girl that played the succubus in that film she's in this film uh, and the way I noticed her is because those creepy big eyes she has she has these creepy bug eyes and I was like holy shit that's a VHS girl that's the succubus chick from that movie she was also in Siren, which is sort of a sequel to that film. I immediately recognized, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was wondering, what what has she done lately, you know? And I was really surprised. I was sort of not surprised, but then I was because, I mean, this is a horror film, and she does mostly horror films, you know? And I was like, wow, I did not expect that. But, yeah, that was a good surprise cameo. Not a cameo, but, you know... It was very pleasantly surprised to see her in this film. Uh, yeah, like, this film kind of reminded me of American Horror Story. Uh, what was it called? Asylum, if you guys ever seen that season or that show. Very similar vibes to this film. But I think this film, yeah, has its own style. Its own, like, visual flair. It's very, very, uh, at, like I said, it's very uh, intense. It's full of atmosphere. The soundtrack is very creepy. And man, what a ride this was, man. I mean, like, it's a good film. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be. And yeah, I would say i give this film a 9 out of 10 because I was surprised. But one thing I, got, one thing I didn't like about this film is the ending felt a rushed. It felt really rushed. Very anticlimactic. Um, not to spoil anything, but... Yeah, I felt like the ending was really rushed. Like, they didn't really know what to do or how to end this story. And I feel like that's a lot of... It's very common in a lot of these horror movies. A lot of modern horror movies have the same problem. Like, we have a good story. But, like, the director just doesn't know how to end it. Like, there's no, like, thought put into the ending. And that's what really matters, too, like, to the film. Like, when you have a film like this, you have to have a good... Uh, uh, ending that goes out with a bang and a lot of these films lack it man like I could name several films that were so good 
from beginning to the middle and then the end is just okay you know it was like what the fuck and i noticed a trend with this um but yeah that's like the only flaw i would say about this film but other than that man the film was great you should check it out you should buy it on blu-ray or dvd yeah definitely check it out stream it i highly recommend this film and yeah man that's what i thought about saint agatha so yeah if you guys like this film review don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that bell to get notifications so you guys don't miss a video. Any film reviews, any reaction videos I do. I really appreciate you guys like you know watching me and you know hear me blab on about films and all that stuff. Appreciate the support. But yeah, guys, check out this film, man. You will thank me later. And like I said, we're almost to 100 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe, alright? Peace.